I like Pro Taper bars. You should too. Alright guys, welcome back. I had a really hard time finding any information about fat bars and putting them on Ducatis. I did a little research from like $25 worth Chineseium stuff. I don't know, I just, I can't live with it. I gotta look at it every day, you know? I went with Rizoma top clamps. About a hundred bucks. They definitely feel like they're made in Italy. Chunky. The Pro Taper Contour Bar Universal Low. This is one of the longest control sections that they offer. We're gonna see what this takes to get it all mounted up. First up, we've gotta get the switch gear off the bars. Hold on. We should probably cover some more details about this. Most of it is pretty straightforward, but the handguards are put in with a compression fit, so the best bet's to loosen it up and then give it a slap with a hammer. The whole thing comes out. For that, everything else comes off just as you expect, with the exception of the throttle tube. Once you've got that off, you'll want to remove the 7 8 risers. This is done with an Allen key inside, and I think it was a 16 millimeter socket down below. I don't know, it's probably different on every bike. Don't worry about it. Figure it out on yours. You can see here the difference between the two risers. The Rizoma one's significantly shorter, but also doesn't have the recessed area in it, and that's gonna be a problem. It comes with this washer, but the washer doesn't fit over the collar, the rubber isolator. So we're gonna drill that out. I used a step bit, it's pretty straightforward, fits nicely now, and that'll actually give our risers plenty of clearance at this point. You can see the difference between the two here. The Rizoma riser is actually slightly pulled back towards the rider, however, it's definitely lower than the factory riser. Not by a ton, but definitely lower nonetheless. It is a fat bar, so it's not as aggressive as it looks. But that's pretty much all it takes to get the bars mounted. You can see here that the bars actually mounted up nicely and looks a lot more respectable on the triple. Next up, we've got to get all the holes drilled in the new bars to fit the switch gear. Now, a lot of guys will tell you you can just file off the locating pins, but that's the wrong move. Don't do it. A, you'll spend more money replacing your switch gear later, and B, your switch gear will never stay put on your bars. Just drill holes in your bars. Take the time to measure. This is what I ended up with the Pro Taper bars. I know I mentioned spoiler alert, but I've ridden it a couple times with these bars on. The switch mounting area is only 200 millimeters. Renthal makes a bar with a 222 millimeter switch mount. We're actually gonna swap these out. In addition to the Renthals, I also decided to get some threaded bar end inserts. Honestly, these are just a must have upgrade for almost any bike. Compression fits are dumb. The factory Ducati handguard mounts also don't work. So I picked up a set of Zeta handguard mounts. It's really not that much work to hog out the plastic ones. And it's what I did to test ride with the Pro Taper bars, but it looked like shit. So the question is really, what's the point? Why would you bother doing this? Well, a lot of guys like the look. They say it reduces vibration, though that doesn't really matter on a street bike. But then there's me. So guys, if you liked this video, give me a like, give me a follow, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see more of. I'm going to be doing this for a while. Hopefully you'll be watching. Thanks.